Good kitten internet. We're back. I've updated my spreadsheet up above. Uh, everybody that's labeled as level 21 are the promoted characters, so the color scheme's gonna be a little out of whack for a battle or two. And welcome back to Archer Force 2. Uh, where we last left off, we entered the desktop kingdom. That's all we really know at this point. But we can go talk to people. So, this is our twisted chessboard. You'll notice that this does not match any known chessboard. Again, it's 15 by 14 for some reason. My attack power is the best in the army! Also, there's multiple, there's like three kings for some, or yeah, there's three queens, because, you know, that makes sense. One, two, three, six pawns, three queens, and two of everything else, and one king. Mr. Creed gave me the solid armored body. We knights are always ready to fight. Is healing my only ability? <laughs> you have a lot to learn. The chess army of the Desktop Kingdom is a well-balanced force. If it is King Pompey's wish, we will accept your challenge. So yeah, if you can't tell, we're about to be asked to go fight them. Now, I'm sure King Pompey will help you. So, you were not able to see Creed. Somewhere in Floor World, there's a tunnel that leads to Creed. Okay, I'll let you go if you win a game against my army. You may go to the chessboard now. So, we need to fight the chessboard army. For reference, you've probably heard me refer to chessboard, potentially, depending on if you were paying attention, repeatedly throughout the series. Chessboard is generally the hardest battle in the game. Probably not even generally. It is the hardest battle in the game. Um, the AI is particularly good at using the chess pieces. And normal strategies don't work very well, because you'll notice all terrains equal. Do your best. So, something I should mention, and you notice that we only start on this side and a piece of paper blocks the way. Um, so, queens are basically the uh, dark witches. Only with higher attack power. Pawns have very high attack power, and they're generally the equivalent of orcs or lizard folk. Bishops have heal 3 and blast 2. I'm not as concerned about them. Knights have power spears. This is That means that these are the equivalent of centaurs and are very powerful and have a ranged attack. This is the reason why I needed range 3 is because they have range 2. Rooks are archers with range 3. That's something that doesn't make any sense the way it was described. And the king has the highest attack power, they lied, and has blaze two. So the king will biff the pure living snot out of you. However, 64 attack is actually what the um, skeletons had before. So this is actually not as bad attack power wise as harpies. The problem is that there's so many pawns. Also, the AI is really good at doing this well. Here, let me show you what I mean. Here, I'll speed up for a moment. Here, look, I've speed up, sped up a whole bunch of turns, and they have not moved beyond their first two rows beyond this one pawn. So the AI in Shining Force 2 typically acts based off of triggers, namely, you're so close, we're going to start attacking you. The problem with this trigger-based strategy is that... Um... The triggers are all the same location for all the pieces. So, it's really hard to lure some people out. And you'll actually start noticing that we have some different appearances for characters now. Snipers look pretty awesome, but nowhere near as awesome as Ninja. So, there, the only way that I've been able to actually beat Chessboard without any deaths was to basically send my flyers after the king and ignore everything else. I'm not going to do that this time because that's dumb, to be honest. 
I should have brought an extra sword now that I think about it. Just in case if I decide to promote Luke. So what I'm trying to do is just trigger a few enemies. This is not easy to do, for reference. In fact, this is actually really hard to do. So I'm moving everybody over to one side first. Oh, wow. So Chester is in his Pegasus Knight form for that promotion, which is definitely not correct. Uh, Kazin is, looks to be a wizard the way he's promoted, which would make sense. Elric is actually looking like Elric. I think he might be the only one. Uh, Rick is still a priest. He still looks like a knight. Um, you know what? I'm not going to have Rick casting. He needs to conserve his MP. Get to see more sprites. Obviously, Jaffa hasn't changed. Kazin. He's apparently green-themed. Interesting. May is purple-themed. Rick still looks like an evil priest. Elric looks just like Jaha. Okay, yeah, because there's only two color schemes, I think. Or archers, usually. I mean, I'm nowhere near as concerned about using up Kiwi's magic because she has so much more. Also, one of the best defense members of my party right now? Uh. Slade, Jaha. Yeah, no, actually, she doesn't have that high of defense. Slade and Jaha are my highest. <sighs> Freaking weird that the wizard is the highest defense of the party. Or the mage, excuse me. He's still unpromoted. So yeah, we're going to have to spread out again once we have, um, yeah, we only have Dao. Once we're actually, oh, I forgot to redistribute items. This might hurt a bit. Um, who, uh, okay, Luke has no items. We need to give Luke some items. So the reason why this might hurt a bit is, so we... My idea is basically squishing everybody down. I'll do it this way, so that way it's matching. Uh, squish everybody down to one side so I trigger and have a very concentrated force, and then immediately split apart again so I don't get hit by those really nasty area of effect spells. Luke, here, have a healing drop. Ah. Right before I started, Isin decided to go up onto my lap. He's still on my lap for reference. And he, I moved at the same time, which means that he jumped up and then used his claws to stay up. So I have a bunch of puncture wounds on my leg right now. It's great. Do not lead with the weakest member of the force. Do not lead with the weakest member of the force. Is he actually the weakest? Uh, no, Chester is. Like weakest defense wise. Okay, have I activated anybody yet? No. Well, actually, maybe. Those two have moved quite a bit further from their starting location. I may actually have activated them. That would be great if that's the case, because I can respread back out now. Let's go ahead and boost, because we can. So the other way I've done it to activate people is to send a flyer out very far out. Like, where they're not in range of anything. Stop. 
Slade as a brass gunner is using Bowie's sprite? Oh, that is messed up. I'm pretty sure that's a glitch. Why? I don't understand why that's the case. What the heck? I might need to ask Rec to edit the sprites where I can actually tell the difference between characters. This is a little ridiculous. Doesn't help that I have Slade and somebody else who's acting like Slade. They're very different classes, to put it mildly. Okay. Are you two coming in? Yes, you are. Okay, good. They're active. I can fight three at a time. That should be doable. What I don't want to do is activate all of them. I would prefer if also taken a bishop, but that's fine. Um, one nice thing is that land effect is 15 or 30, depending on what pieces that you step on. So we're going to end up trying to step on black pieces whenever possible. Second nice thing is that movement is not restricted. So rooks can move four. Two, three, four. Okay. Rooks can't hit me this turn, but they will next. Pawns have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That black line there, two away from being able to hit me. So I think they're planning on attacking next turn. I only hit two people with that. Oh, well. Staying on black. Bowie doesn't matter where he stands, which is also part of the reason why birds are so hard to use in this battle, because everybody has land effect other than birds. Ears bothering me. Apologies. All right, come on, Rook. I know you're slow. You don't have to be this slow. There we go. You're attacking Sarah. Yeah, that's what the look Rook looks like, because that makes sense. 16 damage against a boosted Sarah man out. Okay. Also, I should mention that these units have, I think one of them appears later on in the game and that's it. Um, they are unique to this battle effectively. That's right, I can go back further now. Let's make sure I'm way out of the not bolt freeze. Let's soften them up a little bit. I might actually get XP from this. That's how high level these enemies are. So when the game had mentioned, hey, look, this is a good place to practice, it's the hint that, by the way, you can grind here. Nope, I gained one. Okay. You can actually grind here. And it's time to start showing off the new characters and the new music. Have I mentioned that ninjas are one of my favorite classes in Shining Force 2? Ninjas are super powerful, and they all have an increased chance of critting. Ninjas are way better than thieves in every possible way. Keep in mind, Luke and um, Sarah actually have the same attack right now, I think. Uh, Luke... No, Sarah has... Six more attack at the moment. Oh, 
I don't know why, but I always, like, when I first saw the spell, I called it Dow Puppy. So as a result, it's time to use Dow Puppy. Oh, that's a bit of a waste. Let's use Dow Puppy over here. Dow Puppy time. That's what a sorcerer looks like. They look awesome. So sorcerers are submitters. Which means that it's better to use those spells against a single target. And I've activated a queen. Yeah, notice Bowie's still getting XP even though he's level 24. Okay, um... Sarah got hit, that's right. Let's heal up. Also, when you promote, your healing does more for some reason. I don't know why. And your normal damage starts doing less. Time for a snip. Snip, snip, sucker. Bam. Critical hit. Got hit by 14. This is why I wanted to promote. This is the correct battle to have promoted characters on. Okay. Let's start doing a reset. Uh, how far can the queen hit? Freeze two, so that's range two. And your movement six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. We're just going to not be in a formation that freeze is nasty. We're gonna hop on black hex uh, hexes, black squares. That way we have the extra defense. Hope I get to go before the queen does. Uh, looks like we also activated a priest. Dang it. Gerhalt, I'm actually going to move you back a bit. Jaha, I would love to start boosting, but now is not the time to boost. I'm just going to hit, stay put. Luke, we're going to go there. I hope I can move Bowie. Yes, good. So that was a bit of a wreck. Queen. I did not activate the queen. Interesting. Wonder if I actually activated anybody. Or if they're just moving around. Let's find out. I absolutely activated that bishop. Okay. Your movement's five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, you can hit lots of things. I'm going to wait for the bishop to come to me. Because again, I'm trying to be patient. The rook and the bishop, I think I can handle both at once. But I'm going to activate everybody else the moment I fight them. Oh, I should have boosted Java. Thinking about it. See, I have to fight my own urges to go out and encounter, shall we say, the enemy. Because, yep, there's where it's going to start. There's my night attack on a sorcerer. Ow! This is why we have healers. Thump. Chessboard with Archer Force. This is going better than I expected, but that's a really low bar. I'm attacking a knight from a knight base position. Nice. Uh -huh. Sad. Thump.
Now you get to see what a brass gunner looks like, except that the animation isn't going to look right. They use explosions. On the, although it's using Bowie Sprite for some reason, and that's definitely not right. Alright, how close am I to a queen? Your queen. Six, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. Yeah, you're currently hitting two people. If I move there, you would hit three. Not ideal. Wait, Elric's the one with the shining, isn't he? Yes, he is. Shining ball time. Shining ball hits for 20-ish, basically. And it's a magic attack, so nothing else counts. Okay. Can you move back, please? Thank you. Yep, I was expecting that to happen. Jaha has high defense, so... Ow. This is the part that I'm afraid of. Jaha lived. We're okay. Yeah, this might actually be easier with Archer Force 2, now that I'm thinking about it. I mean, I don't have any tanks, which hurts a lot, for reference. But I don't need them as much. All right. I need to go here. I can get hit by a queen if I do that. Uh, I think I'm going to go here. Dow. Dow puppy. I just love the way summoners look. They're very androgynous, mostly because... so. Weird thing, most times each of the classes are just palette swap, or like each member of the same class is just a palette swap of each other. That is not the case for sorcerers. There's actually two different ones. One of them for, uh, so in the game normally, you can have one sorcerer that you promote with the secret book and Taya, who you'll gain later on in the game. Taya has a unique look compared to other sorcerers. Taya is, a woman, the other sorcerers are all potentially men, but it's a very androgynous look, and I just love that look so much. Okay, that's a rook. Freeze? I think that makes sense to do. We'll find out. You're only gonna give me one XP, but whatever. I'll be fine. I think taking out the Rook makes the most sense. I haven't activated that Queen yet. I'm kind of shocked. Stabbing's time. Time for more stabbings. Stabity. Nice crit. Okay. Heal up Jaha. I probably should have done it the other way around, to be honest. Ooh, Kiwi leveled up. Nice. And HP and MP plus two? Nice. Also, I just realized I forgot to remove Excel, but in this case, it's just covering the box art, so that's nowhere near as bad. Um, yep, time to snip it. Snip. Boom. Death did. So, to be clear, this is the best place in the game to grind for, like, normal conventional battle purposes. I'm intentionally not grinding. Because I want to fight chessboard legitimately. Which means that I'm also, while I am making save states, I'm doing that because I'm doing some dumbass moves. Down to one. Again, I'm intentionally making some dumbass moves, so that's fine. Um, beat with a stick, maybe? Yep. Thwap! 
I only got 20 XP for it, though. Ugh. I guess those evil bishops are actually lower level. He'll back up Geralt. So that's the reason why I probably should have done it the other way around, because um, Kiwi could actually have reached Geralt, whereas... Um, whatchamacallit, uh, Rick couldn't. I'm Okay, I did activate one pawn. I was about to say, I'm kind of shocked that I only activated them. Oh, this might have been a bad idea. Okay. I didn't get hit as hard as I was fearing. But definitely need some healing there. Boost us. Boost. Jaha leveled up. 2 HP, 1 MP, 2 attack, 2 defense, and bolt 2. Nice! Hello, Queen. I was not expecting you to go into melee. You had the perfect opportunity to attack, but okay. Slice. Yeah, we've pissed everybody off at this point, I think. Top puppy time. Um, I can take out the queen, so I'm going to. Well, I can't take out the queen. Drat. Like I said, it's 20-ish. Level 2. Inch P3, MP1, defense 2, agility 2. Do you see what I mean by higher uh, promoted level ups are much better? Okay. Um, yeah. Heal three Luke. I'm going to start running out of MP really fast. This is a problem because I don't have any way of recovering MP right now. Take out the queen. Queen has the potential of doing more damage. And then Archer the Rook down. And start trying to spread out more because I have two more queens to deal with. Which is not ideal. Alright, who's actually injured? You're a little injured. Are a little injured. I'm intentionally heal twoing instead of heal one because I don't want to get out of distance. Hi! That's the king. That should look familiar for those that may remember. Oh, I only dodged... What the hell? And here I was talking about how I was legitimately fighting and I got one-shotted. And it was a double hit too, so I had no prayer of dodging that. And that was the only character that died too. <laughs> well, I said I was going to do it legitimately and I meant what I said. Ah, uh, let's try this again, shall we? I'm going to pause not too fast forward. I am going to record all of this, but I'm going to pause because I need something to eat. I forgot to eat today. Oops. Pausing. And I'm back. <clears throat> all fooded up. Unfortunately, kind of junkish food, but I didn't feel like cooking tonight, so I didn't. All right. Take two on chessboard. So... 
I noticed that the ones that came over were from over here. So I wonder if setting up ahead of time over on the left side makes more sense. And for reference, a while ago, this would have been ugh, 13, 14 years ago, I did extensive analysis on this specific battle, figuring out that the game is actually using chronomancy to uh, effectively, like, figuring out and manipulating the RNG to do things. So, the way chess programs work is that they look out X number of moves. Usually it's like three moves or four moves in the future. They'll rely on book for the start, book being like memorized moves. And then chess programs will start going, okay, I'm going to analyze every possible move for the next three moves. You typically don't go too much further than say four or five, just because you're getting into some ludicrously heavy computation at that point. So that is basically the way this AI seems to be working. So what I ended up doing for my heavy analysis was that I was very heavily using chronomancy to try to manipulate the odds. And that's when I figured out the AI is doing the same thing back to me. Um, what I mean by that is, um, like for instance, I would set up uh, characters in a particular way and then like what you saw happened. It was a double attack where one of them was a crit to kill Bowie. That type of thing was constantly happening. Like, okay, I'll manipulate the RNG where that double attack doesn't happen. Then all of a sudden, I'll see the king just not move at all. And then a pawn goes out and does a double attack and then kills Bowie. That, that is not something an AI in this game should be doing. So what it's most likely doing is that it's playing through each of its options, trying to figure out which one is the most advantageous. And maybe it's the same AI that the game's been using the entire time, and just it's a lot more effective here on a flat board with no weird terrain in the middle. Uh, maybe it's from... Maybe they actually did craft a specific AI that mirrors a chessboard. I mean, a, like Chessmaster 3000. This is exactly the style of AI that it uses. So, I don't know. But it's really interesting to me. So yeah, I'm going back over to all the way over on the left side. I'm going to try to put higher defense characters in the front. Uh, who is my highest defense character anyway? Let's go back to Excel. Let's... Uh, actually, let's make this easier. So, over on the right, I have a... On the right, the parts that you can't see, I have some notes. And I'm just putting in a numbered rotation, that way I can really easily resort. So, we're going to sort by defense. From highest to lowest. So, Jaha is the highest defense of the force. So Jaha is going to be in front and taking hits for us. Well, Jaha is the highest defense of the force, not counting the protect ring, I should say. Who has the protect ring right now, anyway? So Gerhalt has the quick ring. Power rings on Sarah. Oh, that's why. Yeah, no, I did include that on Sarah, right? Oh, that explains it. Sarah's attack's 51, not 56. Good. Okay. Yeah, that means Sarah's attack is very similar to Luke's attack at the same level. Anyway, um... Nobody? Did I forget to remove it off of... I must have forgotten to remove it off of uh, Kiwi. Whoops. Thought I remembered doing that, but apparently not. Okay. Well. Hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, I only have one person who can egress now. Hmm. 
Really cat? If you can't tell, I swapped to Giddies. Yeah, that's right. You shoulder cat here, but you don't do it for the pet talent show that you were supposed to shoulder cat on. I see how it is. Anyway, I'm just going to egress out as I can. There we go. Because I need that protect ring. The defense of my force is garbage. Item give. Peter doesn't have the ring. Oh, it's sitting on Kiwi and unequipped. Oh, well, I guess I didn't need to egress out after all. Whoops. So, who do I want to give the defense ring to? If I gave it to Jaha, I would have a really good tank. Alternately, I can give it to Sarah where Sarah's de defense isn't utter garbage. I'd have to move the power ring to somebody else as well. You know what, let's try the Jaha method. Also, let's actually deposit the mithril. And actually equipping. This time I remembered. Jaha, go ahead and give yourself Uber Defense. Oh yeah, and my spreadsheet's obviously not up to date because that was previous level, but whatever. Not too many people leveled up. Let's try this again. This might be a really long video, or maybe I'll actually finish it this time. Wouldn't that be nice? All right. Might as well boost. So, boosted. Jaha's defense is 51. That's higher than all the enemies, which is nice. So, Jaha is going to be my frontline slash taunter. Which, strangely enough, that's actually his role in this battle normally. So Jaha is usually a warrior. Warriors, uh, which promote to either gladiators or barons, are the highest defense in the game, other than swordsman slash hero. Which, of which Bowie is the only one. Um, really wish I had a Pegasus Knight. So knights promote to either paladin, which is basically just more knight, or they promote to Pegasus Knights. And Pegasus Knights are flyers that have spears. So it's a flying ranged unit. It's the only way to get a flying ranged unit in the game. There's one pre-promoted Pegasus Knight, but he's bad. So what you do is that you promote your highest attack knight to be a Pegasus Knight. And you basically use them like a sniper. Just go, okay, I'm going to just, oh, I don't know, fly around and then snipe this one troublesome enemy. But, alas, not doing that. Because I don't have any knights. Usually at this point in the game, let's say, we would have two regular knights and one bow knight. Right now we have one bow knight, that's it. Um, the third knight is actually the person that was... Moving around a little bit over to the left of the chessboard that we can't see because we're in combat. At least this is not a movement restricted area, so I'm actually moving my entire movement. I mean, sure, they are too, but whatever.
Just trying to get people into position. Boost's already expired. Dang it. There we go. I taunted with the wrong character, but that's fine. He's standing on dark. It'll be okay. He'll back up Luke, that'll heal most of the way. Not quite all, but most. Mm, let's see, what else can I talk about? That's the problem with playing these strategy RPGs, is that it's great if I actually have things to talk about, but I usually don't. Especially since I'm recording so many of these at once. I mean, at this particular time, I still have yet to even upload any of mine, because I still need to do the recordings for Welcome Back to Shining Force 2 type of thing. How big of a deal is it if I move all the way up there? I'm already going to get hit, so. Uh, I'm just going to stay back, actually. So I normally don't go up the left side just because of how, more, how much more complicated it is. I don't know if this is a better strategy or not. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. Ow. Ow. So this is what Bolt 2's area of effect looks like, by the way. Bolt 2 is awesome. I assume I can't hit Jack Squat. No, I can't. Okay. It doesn't do a huge amount of damage, but it hits such a large area, it's basically impossible to avoid. It's the ability that the uh, Tartarus was using. Anyway, just boost yourself. You're a target. Your whole goal is to sit there and take damage. Now, puppy. That'll knock off 19 to 20 damage. Or 19 to 20 hit points, I should say. Bird brain. Go ahead and take out the rook. Slice. Um. I am down 24. Yeah, I think a heal two will be sufficient. I have two healers after all. Even if the other one may start going on offense. Stabbings, stabbings. Yay, stabbings. Time for more stabbings. Death did 23 damage. Hit points 2, attack 1, defense 4, agility 2. Plus 4 defense on a level up. Ah, oh, I've missed having promoted units. Let's get Elric back up to full. For some death magic. 
<sighs> HP, MP, agility, heal three, about time. Knight on Sarah, of course. AI is too smart. Keep hearing noises outside. So one big advantage of having like this many archers when they're promoted is that they fit a lot more easily. I mean, I would not have been able to do this with regular unpromoted archers. Now Archer Force 2 is really coming into its own. HP 2, Defense 1, Agility 2. No attack increase. That's not a good sign for Kazin. That was Kazin, right? Yep. Knew that was going to happen. Ow. No, that was May. I thought May was a better... Oh. Let's finish off that night before it gets another attack. Level 2. HP, attack, defense, agility by 2. Interesting. Yep. It's just Blast, so it's not that bad, but Sarah's already very heavily damaged. Which sucks. I'm a little concerned about a queen flying over. Huh, surprised that pawn didn't activate. Okay, now I know I'm not hearing some. I'm he not hearing things. One moment. Oh, no, that's my housemate. Okay. <laughs> sure. Could Bolt 2 drop some of their happy fun times? Yeah, I think it's time to show off Bolt 2. Yay! Bolt 2. Bolt 2 is fun. Especially if you have an enemy in a tight quarters area. I don't in this case, but it's especially fun when I do. So fun fact, some of these pawns you can actually attack without them doing anything. It's the AI manipulating things again. It's nice. How's Gerhalt on defense? Not so great. Oh. Uh, time to take out the evil bishop. I don't want you to heal. Queens are active. Cool. Okay, I haven't had Kiwi go yet. So I'm planning on having Kiwi heal up Sarah. That will heal for 30. So this is not as dumb of a move as it looks. I think. We'll find out if that was a dumb move. Okay, yep, yeah, that's what I thought was going to happen. Unfortunately, it means I have to put Kiwi all the way up in front, but... My kingdom for Aura. <laughs> Of course, at this point of the game, you usually wouldn't have Aura anyway. You can't get Aura until after the next battle. The earliest, normally. King is leaving. That's fine. Do I want to do this? Bad idea, but let's do it. Stabbings. Ugh. Rick is so far behind right now. Does anybody actually need healing that I could reach? Uh, Elric and Jaha can both use healing. 
Definitely not heal three worth. Uh, yeah, I would have to heal two either way, so. Okay. Elric is down nine. Jaha is also down nine. I'm going to heal Jaha because he has lower hit points overall. Now, for being a level 33 mage, his hit points are kind of garbage. Snip, snip, sucker. So much nicer to have promoted archers. Oh. The weird thing is, I normally don't use archers all that much in, uh, Shining Force 2. Uh, I want to move there, but I'm going to move here instead. Right, Slade's injured. Which means I really can't have him out and about. Hey, Slade, how about you heal yourself for a bit? Really need to have Wreck edit that animation. <laughs> Kazin, please start snipping some more. Thump. Unfortunately, not enough to level. Uh, this is a bad idea. This is an extremely bad idea, isn't it? Let me think. Gerhalt hasn't gone, has gone. Uh, Elric's the last one of them before that pawn goes again. So if I want to take out that pawn, I have to use Elric. But I'm going to become a target for three different enemies. I think it's worth taking out the pawn. I'm probably going to end up losing Elric, but that's fine. This isn't a Nuzlocke anymore. I need to keep reminding myself of that. Hmm. That pawn did not move. I was not expecting that. That could be a bad sign. It looks like I've woken up everybody else, though. Hi! You may have heard of me. My name is Jaha. And my goal is to cause as much mayhem as possible. I think I got their attention. I got one XP for all of that. Ah, poor Jaha, level 33. Unfortunately, Dao doesn't do that much damage when split up amongst three targets. Still worth doing, though. It's going to be like six or seven damage, I think. Yeah. Seven damage. HP three, MP two, attack, defense, agility. Nice level up. A+. Plus. This is a bad idea also, but I'm doing it anyway. Cut on! Told you, it's basically Blaze, but slightly higher power, which means I'm actually killing multiple things because they've been weakened. I killed two queens with Blaze. Yeah, you should level up for that. Plus one to all stats, that's a good level. But more importantly, I killed two queens with that. Okay, Sarah can go attack. The king's been damaged, the pawn can be killed. The pawn has moved recently, so has the bishop. That pawn has not. Um, I can go after whatever I want at this point, to be honest. I'm a little worried about getting all of that attention, though. I'm going to go after the pawn. Hmm. This ninja does not have magic. Interesting. Alright. Who needs healing? Uh, Elric can use healing. Sarah can use healing. 
I'm gonna heal Elric because I can do that with a heal one. I don't think I can take out that bishop this turn, but I'm gonna try! Yeah, I didn't think so. But I have enough archers where I should be able to take out the bishop. Yep. This is just blaze two, right? Yeah, it's not that bad. I'm just taking 11. That's not that bad. I mean, it's a total of 33 damage. It's nothing to sneeze at, but... Well, uh, you're going to start going after the king, I guess. Because that's the only one that you could reach. I mean, if I defeat the king, I win, for reference. I would love to defeat everybody, but I will settle for the king. Elric, can you snipe that one? Snip. I don't want the evil bishop to heal the king. No attack increase again. Oh, this might be really painful. I think it's time to go after the king. Hey king, I've got a present for you. It's called Apollo. Have you ever met Apollo? Although the king also uses fire, so this might not do much damage. Ah, uh, yeah. Did less damage than normal, but that's still 16 damage. Bow Knight. Bow Knights look kind of cool, but, you know, I'm biased. I only got 7 XP, though. Slad. Slad? And it looks like Slade will be finishing off the king. Boom. Critical hit! King got damaged by 12. King was defeated! Slade earned 49 experience points. I just did chessboard. I lost Bowie once, and that was it. Checkmate, this is for you. A cotton balloon is inside. With it, you can leave the desktop kingdom safely. Good luck. So for reference, once I leave, I cannot go back. There is no turning around. There's no anything. The only thing I can do from here is save again, which is what I'm doing right now. And continue on down. Ah, mistake, I see. Yeah. Eric here is usually the one that... I hate it here! Maybe that'll be my quote for this video. Floor world is very dangerous. Take care! Just goes into me. Oh, hey, look, more explosions, because why not? Just making sure I haven't forgotten anything. Because again, this is a one-time place. This is the only time in the game I can be here. <sighs> Floor World is also a one-time place, for reference. Okay, there's no treasure chest under there. I'm ready. Yep, I think I'm ready. Let's go to Flower World, and that will be a different video, which I will probably start recording immediately after this one. Because why not? Let's go ahead and save state. And I'm actually going to call it right here. Hope you've enjoyed it, Internet, and I've hit just about an hour. Nice. I'll talk to you next time, Internet. Bye! And I'm totally waiting until I hit an hour. <laughs>